Good evening. I am Mark Major. I'm Rich Bachelor. Gatefolds of greatness. Our first gatefold of greatness is Captain Beefheart and his magic band, Strictly Personal. Definitely takes us into the scary side of things where, like, it's not whimsical anymore. This isn't amusing. This is actually sort of like where costumes become like nightmares, like the, the bellhead guy. This is awesome. This makes me think of, like, the Watchmen. Right. These are uh, multi-dimensional retarded superheroes. Yeah. Um, the guy with the pilot's helmet who's playing a little cornet there or something, and the one guy who you can't see his face at all, well, two of them. Hell, actually, okay, come to think of it, four of them. <laughs> yeah, the only guy whose face you can see is... Um, Don Van Vliet, I believe. Excellent. I give this one a ten. Let's move on to our next gatefold. Ah. Uh, ZZ Top. Trace Hombres. Oh, man. You know, I've never actually tried to make this meal, but I think I could see my way clear. And all the way up to and having to include the portrait of our beloved revolutionary sweetheart up there in the upper right. Um, this is definitely an epic mealtime looking cover. I've examined it up close, and for one thing, they spared no expense on cheddar cheese. I mean, there is so much cheese, including extra cheese in case you want more cheese up there in that cheese. All right, here's something that's interesting. Yeah. Check out the beer glass. It apparently has just been over-poured. Over-poured with Southern Select, I believe that is? Yeah. One may assume that gourd is filled with tequila. You know, maybe it's filled with water. Maybe it's filled with some antacid. I mean, look at this goddamn thing. If this was like a prop made by some current modern-day band, not from the Southwest, then that gourd would be strictly an ornamental thing that was in someone's living room. And, and not full of tequila or snake bite venom. And, you know, like, weird little touches, like, on top of what I believe is the enchilada there over on the left hand side of the plate, before the probably useless dried piece of corn, there's a little tiny shard of a carrot, just in case you were worried that you weren't getting enough vegetables in your diet. I'm getting hungry. Let's move on to this next one. Frankie goes to Hollywood. From what I can tell, it's a whole bunch of magical creatures marching endlessly toward a uh, giant uh, head of a penis. I'll say it. Head in the middle of some magical landscape. Let's move on to reverse gatefold here. This is for the band Chase. These guys are somewhat of a kind of a 70s pop jazz fusion type. Look at how many examples of what is wrong with 70s fashion are on display on this album cover alone. Yeah, this is starting to look a lot like one of those early Microsoft board meetings you see pictures of. There's one guy who's wearing a buckskin jumpsuit. There's another guy who's in all terry cloth, as far as I can tell. There's the whole, uh, this is actually my girlfriend's sweater purple guy who looks like he's a member of Three Dog Night. What about Pete Townsend with the white headband? Right next to him, the Ian Pace sunglasses. And right next to him, the whole, one day I will own a telemarketing concern. Uh, note too that there is a three uh, on there, and we know what that means. That means I bought this for three for a dollar at Django Records. I don't know who ripped off who, so we're gonna move on to the next gatefold. Yola Tengo's, and then nothing turned itself inside out. Here, someone is mowing what looks like a giant bullseye in the middle of some field in New Jersey or something. Is that how the album sounds? That is definitely how the 17-minute long final song on the album sounds. A series of guys mowing lawn. Past a certain point, actually, it is just sort of this drone that lasts for like an extra 10 minutes worth of fade out. It's called Night Falls in Hoboken. It's a beautiful, mesmerizing song. It could be reasonably compared to the sound of a bunch of people mowing their lawns in ever-increasing concentric circles all night long or something. Well, I hope it was a bestseller for them. I've never actually gone to check this, but I am told that the phrase, and then nothing turned itself inside out, is the last line of that one Fiona Apple record released a few years ago, where the title of the album is a paragraph. Mm. I have not actually gone to confirm this, and I don't really care, but it's a nice story. Lovely. Let's conclude, then, with cool album covers. Concluding. Concluding. 